Good evening and welcome to another scene in the London Ascending the Vampire Venue. We start tonight, this Christmas season, in Laura's um, lounge bar that she's she's uh, just spent quite a bit of time in, you know, meeting people, having whoever wants to drop in, uh, can drop in and talk. And, she has her usual place, like the back part of it, but it's normally reserved for special customers. And um, Laura's sitting there um, with her smartphone and taking some notes and just seems busy. Uh, she's maybe seem a little bit tired, although the kindred looking tired. Yeah, sometimes, but it's rare. And it's hard to tell, really. But not too long from now, Laura will get a visit. Oh, my. Well, yes, she shall, of course. How could the illustrious Vincent Harcastle not make an appearance at London's finest bar and lounge on such a fine Christmas evening? And he walks on in, of course, going through the motions at this point, knows where to go and who to talk to to get into the, to a, what can only be described as a kindred only area. Um, just in uh, a rather, what's a, it's a, uh, it's a bit hard to tell whether he'd be at a party or at a business meeting. To be fair, the suit is, is suitable for both. Uh, having a, a rather big uh, pea coat wrapping around him mm. and a lovely white scarf to contrast uh, wrapped around his neck that he similarly takes off uh, upon entering, mm. folding it very neatly. Um, as he appears to have a small, small box on his person. Uh, it's like a it can only be described as what is basically a jewelry box. It's what you keep. Uh, it's what all the jewelers keep their finest jewelry in nowadays. Uh, mm. um, as soon as he enters the, the back room or back quarters uh, of this establishment, uh, Laura will just get up and just say, uh, oh. Season's greetings. Merry Christmas. Ah, yes, my good harpy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas indeed. Absolutely wonderful. She will bow and just, my region, what do I owe the pleasure? Oh, I just thought I'd stop by and spread the Christmas cheer. And he will, uh, Hold out the uh, box for yourself. Merry Christmas, my um, dear sure Miss Solhorn. Oh, I'm, I'm flattered, and uh, she will she will smile and and uh, seem a little reluctant of taking it, and she will just uh, I well I'll have to I will have to uh, work overtime I suppose. To find you something suitable. And uh, she will have a peek in the box. Let me just check the roll. I uh, succeed. That's <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight successes. Um, you open the box and you see it's. 
uh, a necklace of some sort. It's obviously quite expensive, uh, stylized to uh, represent a crescent moon. Uh, inside the crescent moon, however, or rather um, inside the crescent, not the moon, um, is what appears to be a, a gem of some sort. It's rather, again, it's, it's, it's very expensive, but not too stylish or over the top. It looks, um, has a fairly simple design, but uh, seems to maximize it. Uh, Laura, Laura will just stand there for a moment. Um, and I think actually I will just have to look something up because there's been. A Turns out she has uh, hatred floor moons yeah. <laughs> or lunacy. Yeah, <laughs> the direct effect. Uh, uh, what? Uh, just out of curiosity, what is it made of? Uh, the metal. Uh, the crescent moon is silver, um, the gem in the middle appears to be uh, sapphire. In fact, it's uh, a perfectly um, spherical uh, sapphire ball. It's, it's not rigid, there are no visible cuts on it. Hmm. She, she stands there and looks at it for a minute. Uh, her eyes widen a bit, and, um, and she just says, it's beautiful. Um, where did you find this? Or did you, did you make it? I, I know some particularly prevalent uh, Metal workers. So. Oh, well, um, you must pass my my greatest thanks on to them, and thank you very much, Mr. High Council. It's wow. She she uh, she stands there and and, and seems quite uh, taken aback by it. Uh, like it's it's clear that she probably didn't expect this, uh, but but she seems genuinely uh, fascinated by this. Oh, well, I just thought I'd do my part to spread the, uh, the joy of Christmas, after all, it is the season to be giving. It's the one time, perhaps, we should all think of each other. Oh, I'm glad this gift satisfies you. Uh, can you, just for the sake of it, can you make a perception empathy roll, please? Sure. Uh, three successes. Yeah, uh, never mind. Laura had like five, so. Yeah, no, no that's why I did more rolling, because even uh, if I had, uh, I got five success, even if I got all my dice roll succeed, you, you would, you, you, he wouldn't be able to figure out what was going on. <laughs> uh, but Laura just uh, put me in an awkward position. I feel as though I, I owe you a very grand present, but I hope you will give me some time. Oh, my dear, of course not. It's Christmas. It's an act of pure charity and nothing else. You are wise beyond your years. I would not uh, dare insinuate that uh, you owe me anything for, for a simple gift such as this. I hope you enjoy it. What is what is it they say? Um, good deeds are should bring about good deeds in return, should they not? I hope to return the favor someday. But oh well, please, please come, come sit. And uh, she 
uh, sits down at the table and just. He will. Uh, he will open it. Well, I, are they sitting at a table? Can you pull out a chair for her, or is it kind of more of a general sitting area? Uh, the place it's like uh, it's uh, up to the wall. It's a little booth. Ah, uh, so, so it's like a, more like a sofa. You're sitting in the I tear out the booth. No, <laughs> I'm gonna oh. pull it out no matter what. No, fuck it. No, um, yeah, a gentleman, you Bruja. Um, <laughs> ah, thank you. How's your evening been uh, so far? been a very busy Christmas for us all. Quite so. She, um, you can see that she's shoveling with uh, what appears to be letters that has been probed and been sent overseas. Um, like there's, there's little stuff. It's not like she's hiding it or anything, but it's just uh, it seems that there's some structure in it, but there's like she's she seems somewhat busy. Um, she just says, "Yes, it's well, Christmas, of course, is, with all the hop up and commotion with the mortals, it does tend to uh, intensify certain things a bit." Uh, sharing the celebrations with. Uh, the family overseas. Kind of looks like the, the, the letters or the cards, rather. Mm, no, no, no. It is just merely correspondences. Merely correspondences. Back and forth. Mm. Yes, I suppose it would be a rather belated. Um, Christmas, if, uh, Christmas uh, card if it to be sent now, I suppose. And mm -hmm. well, I have never once seen a Ventru not be punctual. Well, these, these, just, these are from, well, someone I have received not too long ago. I've actually more or less on Christmas, as Christmas cards should be. I've sent my own. Ah. And then there are some things that are just important. So whether it comes before or after Christmas, it's not really important as long as it is, it arrives as soon as possible. Ah, I see. How very proactive of you. Thank you. Many of the as I am acquainted with a very take a much more uh, back seated approach nowadays, of course. It is the normalized method of leadership. It's always refreshing to see someone with uh, different tastes. Myself, of course, I've been corresponding with uh, my own clan's youth recently in the light of recent events, but also to ensure that they have uh, a most Merry Christmas indeed. We wouldn't want anyone playing the part of the Grinch now. Those people seem to always be around. Yes. Although well, I do find it slightly saddening that many were surprised when I offered them the the merry phrase. I believe uh, too many uh, young kindred nowadays believe us to have become uncultured or disconnected from reality. Oh, how oh, so? Oh, Christmas is of course, after all, a 
uh, human tradition. And the stereotype of uh, our kind's culture is that of the how to put it chess master the king moving the pieces on the board which of course requires a very big picture approach which of, which naturally leads itself to well, oneself missing the smaller things that keep one in touch with themselves Before I begin to even think of such things, I try to do my job as good as best I can. That should, in my mind, always come first. As it should. Before I did find myself amused by some of the young women's reactions, I believe they thought me to. Uh, to be an imposter at first, it was quite amusing. Well, youth has some qualities, but well, it is quite, quite rare that you see a young neonate catching up with all they have to learn on a very, very short notice. It does take them quite a while. Well, they're still very new to our society. I could not blame them for a simple misunderstanding, however rude it may be. Mm. By the way, have you moved, well, since we all got gifts this year, have you been moved, uh, moved location since then? Our domain was not infiltrated. Neither was mine, but I did receive a package at my haven. True, but we have many layers of protections in within uh, the Trimid domain. It would be Next to impossible to break into as successfully of the tricks as about is known to employ. And of course, the tricks, the camera lure is also known to employ. We tend to take uh, an overtly cautious approach to ensure that domains are kept sanctified. Hmm. Well, we, one of the many, many, many advantages of being from your clan, you have excellent means of securing yourself. Well, others, we others must well, move, address, and hope we're not spotted. But, oh well, that's just such as one of the. things we will just have to deal with. One of the terms of being part of this society, I suppose. Speaking of which, uh, did you witness my announcement to the Harpy uh, earlier on, uh, a night or two ago? With the mistress of Harpies? No, I don't think so. Uh, maybe I have a lot on my mind. Uh, I have made it known through the Mistress of Harpies that if anyone wishes to have their havens renovated for the purposes of security. Oh, uh, that's, that's right. Yes, you, were to, you, know, you wanted to extend the, these gifts. Well, 
I might, once I get into my new haven, I might take you up on that offer. I do live for my craft. I'm not necessarily a metallurgist myself, but I am uh, I'm a designer. I do, I do design uh, new creations and innovator as it were. It's always a joy to see my craft better the life of another. Mm. Of course, we can also provide uh, supernatural protections, protections from uh, sunlight as well. Well, that's not a problem. I like to, uh, well, the basement suits me fine for sleeping. did used to not at the moment since I'm moving well have moved most of my things hopefully it will be some time before I have to do that again but it's a mess to quite a few things I have to uh, keep track of yes there is much to do despite it being Christmas unfortunately the world does not uh, revolve around uh, the calendar of the holidays. A shame. I believe we could all use uh, a vacation now and then. <laughs> yes. Some memories come into mind. Although I had some good memories. But that was a long time ago. Hmm. I believe it has been a great deal of time since I have taken a night off the air quotes. Well, I'm sure you're in your company. We all relax as though we are taking a day off to be around. But of course, this does not alleviate your workload, I suppose. I know, of course. I can only hope that I uh, assuage the concerns of others. We are excitable creatures after all, and being able to bring comfort to another always brings a smile to my face. After all, for more, the work of the Tremere benefits the Camarilla, the more all of us benefits, and I do, I do sincerely hope that one night every uh, every critic may be put to rest. Hmm. That will probably not be in any time in the near future, but one can only hope. With all the whisperings and rumors circulating, well, rest is probably something we're going to have to fight to get a lot of coming nights. I mean, it would be greatly honorable to fight alongside one such as yourself. Well, I hope that those who are most skilled will fight first, and those of us more suited to other things will not have to fight uh, unless it is absolutely necessary, of course. And then again, our people oh, of yes. our age should not be the first in lines, it should be the neonates to defend the camera. Oh yes, one can only hope that the uh, that no uh, draft is instituted. That would be quite a concern. Well, it brings back it brings back some memories, but yes, I would agree. It's very very unpleasant memories indeed. 
but um, I'm quite sure we will be quite fine. That reminds me, I should probably hear the primogen about where we stand, where the clan venture will, what part we will take in the war. So, still concerned to myself. <laughs> What he might decide. No, I'm sorry, I didn't. I cut out there. What did uh, What did Laura say? She said that she should probably speak to her primogen because she actually doesn't know what kind of action he wants to do or what he wants to plan to do. Yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah. Speaking of your primogen, I'd be most interested in being uh, in acquiring a meeting with uh, with him, uh, if at all possible. So I'd like us to coordinate our efforts and improve the standing of the uh, of uh, the Queen's uh, the Queen's clan and uh, what well, as the venture often describes as the uh, King's clan as well. Hmm. Well, as I the would, oh sorry, I would be very I'm most happy to. Uh, well, uh, there is more than one person that wants to speak to the primitive, of course. But I will, at the other's convenience, um, let him know that we should audience. I will, I will inform him, of course. As the three leading uh, clans of the Camarilla, I believe it would be a great boost to morale to see the clan of uh, kings and queens and artists and uh, scholars and uh, loyal advisors to be setting an example for the others to follow. Good. Good. Well. If it is taken as that by everyone, then it would be a very, very good thing. But then again, those who are hmm, who are already in doubt, I'm guessing that very few things we will do will satisfy their skepticism for our methods and our intentions. They would see it as power grab or something ridiculous. But not see that we are here to help them. I'm not speaking in general, I'm speaking mostly of neonates who are uh, not. Ah, yes. It's, I suppose you could say. It's no not. What, no matter what gesture we would do to them, I think that they would remain unconvinced. That's all I'm saying. It is much, much harder to criticize someone after they have directly benefited you, yes, that is true. Hopefully it can encourage cooperation rather than the infighting that is so often seen within the ivory tower. It's such a shame, really. Such a, such a conflagration of missed opportunities. Well, then again, of war can be very instructive mm -hmm. for a great many people who might not have been too close to conflict or to burn two things a bit harshly perhaps but learn them nonetheless i must admit myself it's not that i uh, was somewhat learned but then again that was from experience of a tough mortal life, but uh, I did learn most of what I did from uh, quite a bit of well, tough experiences in the early days of my kindred life, shall we say. Well, you seem to have 
come through no worse for wear, and I am happy to see that. Uh, well, it depends on how you look at it, of course. But Do you have uh, oh, my apologies? Well, Do you have uh, any interesting tales to share regarding? The early days, as it were. Most nostalgic they are. Quite so. It's mostly... Well, those days now seem to fall into a bit of a haze, to be honest. But I still remember that night when I was embraced. That is something that will never leave my memory. I don't know about you, I hope you were eased into the transition. I was saved in a sense, but that saving was, what shall we say, it was mainly not done for People can have certain difficulties when it comes to a legacy they think they need to maintain. I was as young as you see me now, but at the time I was dying, given birth to the twins, and I was dying of the Black Death. And as I breathed my last, uh, just before, I saw a shadowy figure in the window that I was quite certain was close, but then again, I was so debilitated, so weak at that time, I thought I was hallucinating, you see. Apparently, I wasn't. Just a couple of more moments, I woke up. Again, more healthy than I've been in weeks, really. I believe that I passed on, but not quite. And that poor chamber maiden. It's hard to contain, especially when you have just been introduced to her. It was a steep learning curve, as I'm quite sure you are. No, in those days, etiquette was more of a... Uh, it was not something you could read up on, on the internet or in books. It was only something you had if you were of a certain standard. Luckily, I had ample opportunities to learn that in my water life. Hmm. I see. My condolences for your prior troubles. He says that as sympathetically as he can, which I can't. <laughs> um, My condolences for your troubles. My apologies. No, no, no need to apologize. It is rare I get to share this with some of my stories. Oh, it's, we all have. Stories, but as far as I'm, and I must apologize if it seems to be me causing a stereotype, but that the introductory protest to the clan, well, your clan, is somewhat more, um, shall we say, strict and, well, organized than my introduction. selected <laughs> yes our clan stereotype has always been rather fascinating to me as we appear to have gained the reputation for wizardry 
which of course is superstition, probably uh, remnants from the nights that people thought women could fly on sticks and... Well, you've never man. seen one with a broom, so... <laughs> and she, she, uh, she chuckles like very... Uh, like she's she's making a funny uh, suggestion, but not laughing out very boriously, you know. I am sure you could turn it into a most marvellous device. <laughs> And of course, the man where man could somehow conjure fire from nothing. We do not describe ourselves to such a base insinuation such as magic. We do have specific tool sets that allow us to access to parts of ourselves that other kids do not, but these are much more both complex and simplistic in nature than magic could ever describe. Magic is an inadequate term for what we do. We simply research, experiment, judge the outcome and repeat until we have the outcome that we desire and of course in order to discover new things to understand new and unexpected outcomes we are in truth not wizards but scientists the exact opposite of what we would be uh, implied as do you put any stock in whoever came up with that idea that any significantly advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic or the notion that it is simply too advanced and therefore people see it as miraculous is this more what you would describe as magic in principle, I would not, although the effect is ultimately the same. So in that sense, it is indistinguishable. But in principle, magic is something that cannot be understood. Technology is something that can. Of course, one could argue that magic can be understood if we are to go by the culturally bankrupt modern day usage of the term that is used in popular media that uses it more as a prop for poorly poorly written fiction more than anything else an excuse to have the impossible happen when they cannot imagine a plausible situation in which it could happen on its own. Quite. So. Well, I'm not going to, I mean, I, it's an interesting conversation, but I do not wish to pry in any way. Much of what we do is rooted in hard facts, and of course, what we do also is similar to the specific talents of other clans, such as the Gangrel, have their own unique abilities, and of course our most vile enemies have theirs, and also the clans of kings and queens have their unique talents as well. But this is simply uh, an extension of that. Everyone has unique abilities. We simply seek to explore our own, perhaps more than other clans would, uh, a driving goal to discover the nature of what we are. Hmm. Quite so. Well, of course, much like. Much like 
the intrigues of other clans. Um, this is generally remained clan business. But the specific reason being that we believe knowledge should be earned rather than shared freely. Other than, of course, for the most utilitarian purposes, but our pursuits are more academic and philosophical in nature that hold less practical outcomes. As such, if anyone were to pursue such knowledge, they would have to earn it on them, uh, by themselves. Although I believe, as per a conclave that occurred before, no, no, a few decades into my existence, we of course have been given authority over such pursuits, as it is our area of expertise. So, but that does only raise the bar, for if one wants to earn that knowledge, they must not only earn it for themselves, but they must prove to our clan that they have truly pursued it to the benefit of not only oneself, but of all. Uh, for the record, I cannot state the specific conclave in which this authority was given, but it does exist. That is quite all right. Uh, Laura, Laura will just uh, sit and, and she just listens and, and uh, sees. It's actually quite interesting. And she will, um, at, at, after a little pause, she will just say, but uh, one thing that um, this uh, offer you extended, what was the price for a place of residence to be guarded, shall we say? The, the price varies depending on the measure of alterations to be made, of course. Um, but as a member of as a member of my coterie, of course, and it being Christmas, I'd be more than inclined to provide you with uh, a significant discount on these services. You are too kind. I think I will take you up on that offer and hope to uh, help your plan out in the coming time. But uh, what did she say about the Shamir, by the way? Uh, and, and help out your clan in return in the oh. coming time, uh, essentially. Uh, she, and she will just, but you will have to excuse my ignorance in this field. Um, what types of protections are you offering specifically? I know that they vary, and, well, I am somewhat... How specific or broad are they? It depends on the type of residence one uh, resides in. For example, it would be much more challenging to create uh, separate exit routes for someone who lives on a uh, downtrodden apartment on the uh, 10th floor. But we can provide much from reinforced uh, entrances to alternate exits, to uh, alarm systems, to fire defense systems, to automated defense systems, shall we say. Although that would be so much more risky for the individual involved than it would be more costly, as all of these things have layers to them, of course. If one wanted to employ a automated defense system, uh, as stated, there are certain different types of automated defense systems, different types of ammunition, ammunition and such, and the different levels of security and danger that these different systems provide to our kind would substantially also be cost. But we can do near anything within the realm of possibility, of course. Uh, 
as long as the structure of the building permits it. We cannot provide manpower, however. That is the one area in which we cannot uh, impart um, well, towards yourself. Unfortunately, we are not uh, an underground organization or a mercenary group. We provide I more. Will probably be able to provide manpower for this. <laughs> And, well, what about more alternative means of protection? Is that something you would... We can provide certain defences against supernaturals of all sorts, including our own kind. The potency of which is not indestructible. For example, if we were to protect a certain object against the hands of uh, a ghoul, per se, the ghoul would be injured but would most likely not kill them. And at the end of the day, they could still break down, uh, they could still, if we were protecting a door, they could still break down the door the door would need physical reinforcements to compensate for this. But it will be quite more tasking to break the door down. Yes, the protections layered upon the door would harm whoever would intend to touch it of that specific supernatural type. Mm. It would also act as a sort of repellent in the sense that those who without invitation lay their hands upon the door would have great mental difficulty doing so again. Of course that is in part due to the pain. But well, there is also additional measures taken to ensure that well they do not consistently try to repeat their entry. It is mostly security regarding my, well, my basement uh, in this new place I am concerned about. Um, ah. It is the place I will, of course, mostly be. Highly intelligent. Today, so, um, but, well, security of some doors, significant quality system to get in and well to be sure that I have complete control over who comes in and out goes in and out more specifics I can bring you um, but yes maybe a, some sort of protection could be well alternative protection could be quiet but Thus far, I don't think it is the biggest problem. Mm -hmm. Not that it's a problem right now. I just simply want to be on the safe side. I see. Would you also like, uh, well, may I ask, uh, do you have additional exits within uh, your sleeping area? I simply ask because basements tend to be somewhat penned in. And in the event of a fire, it's always better to be safe and sorry. This is have, one area where humans well, are quite I intelligent. Have, I have not moved in there, to be honest, but mm, an additional exit route might be a very, very useful thing to do. What would this be? An exit to a small tunnel that would lead out, or...? It could be an exit to a small tunnel, it could be a, an exit to a different part of the building, you know, which of course would need its own room or uh, an antechamber of sorts, so it would not be uh, particularly visible to you towards the overly curious. 
Hmm. Although we can also provide uh, that of a lift, although in the event of a fire, it's never safe to travel for a lift. Uh, I don't think I would want lifts. <laughs> I'm quite capable of taking the stairs. But... Hmm. Yes. Well, I can send you the specifics if you want to. And uh, very much like to get back from you. Yes. Uh, I believe once I have the specifics, you may be able to come to a more, uh, uh, well, we'll be able to come to an arrangement in general. It's, it would be rather difficult for me to estimate the price uh, when dealing in uh, suggestions. But once we have uh, well-defined uh, measures to implement uh, i'll be able to get back to you on the uh, specific cost and of course as a member of my code and he disconnected or oh, we'll just sit there and the conversation will go on for a little while. And after that, I believe that the two will just have a bit of polite conversation and then Laura and Mr. Hartcastle will go their separate ways. Oh my, it appears I've disconnected. Yes. I was oh, no. just about to getting ready to end the scene if you didn't come back, but um oh, what a load of poppycock. God damn. Oh, can I be heard? Yes. Oh go on. <laughs> I do believe that their business was getting concluded. And I do believe that uh, this is, after the two of them were done, they will say goodbye. And I do believe that this is the time we will end the scene, unless Mr. Hartcastle has something he wants to impart, of course. Oh, my. Oh, my. That was it. Well, in that case, this is the... Hello, um, can anyone hear me? Yes. Hello. Uh -oh. <sighs> I can't hear anyone else. This is where we'll end our scene. Thank you very much for players for playing and watching. Good night.